my dear children welcome to second standard this is going to be a year where you are going to discover the love of god how much he cares for us and how we have to be obedient to him in all our actions jesus loves children so much that he said bring the children to me why did he say that because he knows that children are so pure of heart and they're so innocent this year we are going to learn how god created this beautiful universe how in 6 days he created everything and on the 7th day he rested and he said it has to be a day of holiness we then learn about what happened when adam and eve did not listen to god's advice and they were tempted by satan in order to help us to come out of sin and to return to our creator and loving god he sent his only son jesus to us as a savior of the world jesus christ was to be born in the form of a human like all of us and an angel appeared to mother mary and told her god's plan and that she would be blessed with the holy spirit and that a baby jesus will be born on the night that jesus was born we all know the christmas night in the night sky so many angels appeared and sang his glory they praised god and sang glory to god in the highest heaven and peace to men who enjoy his favor that's luke chapter 2 verses 14 this celebration of angels encouraged the shepherds to go looking for the place where baby jesus was born children as you go through the lessons this year you will come to know how loving our god is and then he finally sent jesus christ his only son to teach us and to save us from the sin and to once again be obedient to god and to return to his care and love enjoy your second standard and learn how much god loves us praise be to jesus christ dear children children this whole year we would be learning about a loving and merciful god and about a loving savior jesus christ who came here on earth to free us from sin okay children so let's start today we are going to learn about man who is created by god in chapter 1 okay so that is chapter 1 So before we begin our class let us have a small prayer so children join your hands and repeat this prayer after me okay join your hands dear children oh loving father thank you for creating us in your own image and likeness help us to be with you always and never to be separated from you amen yes dear children now we we'll start okay dear children let's have a look at this picture here is a picture of children on a picnic so dear children can you tell which of these things are created by god and those that are created by man yes children go let's see you can do it yes very good children the green trees the beautiful flowers the fresh grass the juicy fruits the blue sky and the little children are created by god and did you see the table yes the table and the huts are made by man using the things created by god in this picture of zoo see here there is one more picture of zoo 
all the different types of animals are created by God. Yes. So my dear children, let's start. Let's look at it from the start. Okay children, we'll look from the start. In the beginning, what was there? Nothing. Nothing was there. It was completely blank. Empty. Everything was blank. And God decided. What he decided? That he will create a beautiful universe. So what was the first thing he did? Anyone knows? Okay, today I am going to tell you. On the first day, he created light and darkness. And this we see in Genesis chapter 1 verses 3 to 5. So there was light in abundance. You know, light is also energy. Isn't it children? And God created light. And then to balance that, he created darkness. So my dear children, on the first day, God created light. And to balance that, he created what he created? Darkness. So, light and darkness. That is on the first day. Now, let's go on the second day. Huh? So, on the second day, what did he do? Anybody knows? I'll tell you. On the second day, he separated the sky and the sea. That we see in Genesis chapter 1 verses 6 to 10. He created the sky with air in it, breeze flowing, wind blowing and he created the sea. What is the meaning of that? He created water. The earth was full of water. Then God decided that after the air and water being created, he wanted things to grow. So he first, he separated the sea and created land. Understood? He created land. So step by step, God is creating things so that life can appear and grow and flourish. He was preparing a suitable condition for all kinds of life to thrive. So my dear children, on the third day, God created dry land and plants. And this we see in Genesis chapter 1 verses 11 to 13. Then what happened? Once the land appeared and plants were able to grow roots in the soil and there was water because all over on the earth also there was water. So the water was for it to grow. So wonderful plants started to come up. Wasn't that perfect situation to introduce more life? Yes, my dear children, but an important part had to be created before introducing more life. What was that, dear children? Can anybody tell? It's easy. Something very important for all of us. Yes, it is the sun and the moon. So, my dear children, on the fourth day, he created the sun for the day and the moon and the stars for the night and this we see in Genesis chapter 1 verses 14 to 19. Okay my dear children, with the sun and the moon all kind of life could be created now. Plants could grow with sunlight. So now sunlight was there, so plants was getting, they could grow, moon would light up in the night sky, even in the darkness. Moon was there, so there was light even during darkness. Many life forms could grow even during darkness. Yes, my dear children, so God created sun and the moon. After creating this perfect situation for life to grow, an energy source like the sun and the moon being there to create a favorable situation for life to continue. What did God do? God takes his next step. So you know children, what was the next step he did? Yes, my dear children, on the fifth day, he created the fishes in the sea and the birds of the sky. The fishes in the sea and the birds of the sky. And this we see in Genesis chapter 1 verses 20 to 23. Children, now 
that is some unbelievable creation you know my dear children there are over 20000 types of fishes in the sea did you knew that hmm different types different colors different shapes isn't it so amazing my dear children and then comes the variety of birds in the skies children there are more than 10000 types of birds in the skies different different types of birds beautiful birds and children you knew how many types of birds did you knew that hmm there were 10000 yes so can we name some of them okay let's see parrots mina sparrow eagle so many different types of birds and so colorful isn't it my dear children so my dear children can you now see how god has created it all step by step yes so fifth day is over now now let's go on the sixth day on the sixth day god created the animals on the land that we see in genesis chapter 1 verse 24 he also created on the sixth day very important what was that man and he created it in his own image and likeness and he created eve to be a partner to adam so that both could support each other and live together so my dear children our first parents were called adam and eve so once again i'm repeating our first parents were called adam and eve remember this my dear children okay all the creation he did on the land and sea was for man to live and enjoy and what did adam and eve did adam and eve could eat the fruits and vegetable from the plants fish from the water and so on and adam and eve enjoyed all these things which god had created after creating this beautiful world what god did god rested on the seventh day he rested okay so god rested on the seventh day so now let's memorize a small bible verse okay children you have to say it every day okay so now say it after me all things came into being through him and without him not one thing came into being john 1 verse 3 okay this bible verse means what you know my dear children that all things are created by god okay children so you have to repeat this bible verse during your daily prayers so whenever you say your daily prayers in the evening you have to say this bible verse okay every day don't forget okay dear children so now let's end today's class with a small prayer so children join your hands okay sit straight join your hands very good now we'll say the prayer okay and repeat this prayer after me god our loving father Whatever you formed and created is so beautiful. So we thank you, Lord, for everything you have created. Amen. Thank you. Okay, dear children. So now the remaining part of the chapter, we will learn it in the next class. And children, don't forget to learn your Bible verse, which we have just now I told you. Okay? Bye.